remember when we couldn't stay apart Holding hands and making love out in your car Never thought that it would end But I was young and didn't understand my heart Spoke a tongue I never heard of you were warm By all those words I couldn't say Singing for the times we had Memories hot below Draw the line until it hit the ground Now angels ride to tell us that our love has died I wish I could have known Previously filled up with rock ups, did the CKGR, left my gate and headed toward Kung with a broken canopy due to bad roads. Well, you're in the bush from nowhere, here's a jeep that's burnt out. It's also marked on the GPS as a burnt out wreck. He just doesn't want to get off the road. Come on, boy, jump in the bush. This is okay, this is also about weight. Okay, but uh, look at that. Cracked right through, aluminium canopy cracked right through. Look at that. Yeah, the GPS point is right over right hand side on these big trees. Does it look alright to camp? No, we haven't been yet. I'm looking at my GPS. We were, we were like right there, so we're on this road. See, there's a new building on the left here, it looks like quarters. It says, it says Welcome to Mabua over there, and that's where we're going to be going in there. Right, we're into Mabua, paid our dues, um, camped just in the inside of Mabua. The toilet that you are looking at are not working. They have no water, don't even go in there. They are shocking, shocking. Fun. Yeah, we saw some bad dead boxes along the road which were taking quite long, just nice little animals. So I don't know if you can see folks, but he's digging a hole. He's now going to have a roll around in the mud. That's so cool. Check here. He's gonna he's basically getting rid of all the parasites on his body. He's kicking up the mud, the wet mud, and now he's gonna dug his head into it. Check that out. He's having a lick a roll around. Nice, I love it. Oh yes, just have a nice roll in the mud. Now what happens is they put the wet mud on their body and then it stops all the parasites getting onto them. 
so hence the digging of the ground. And we have a little, little bit more of a roll in the mud. Oh yes, it's so nice. Oh, it's absolutely lovely, jubbly. It really is. Yes, I'll just shake a little bit more off and then have a bit more. He's literally, <laughs> his whole face is full of mud. He's like digging his whole face into the ground. I'm surprised he can actually see anything. Oh, he's having a lekker roll. Oh, it's a lekker scratch. Mm. I love it. How's about the other side, mister? Turn around. Yeah. Turn around, have another scratch, scratch. Sorry guys, it's the best I can get on this. Oh yes, oh yes, no, I like that. That's so cool to see. And I'm trying to shake all the mud off his nozzle. He's literally full of mud now. I don't know if he's trying to impress the ladies. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, he's going to be off. Yep, he's going to be off through the bushes. He's going to go find his girlfriend. He's at his time. Okay, drinking. I don't think it's that clear. For uh, I, I am expecting it to get worse. The calm before the storm. When you're driving these roads, you must be careful when you're coming up on little summits and things like that because this is a two-way traffic jeep track, and a lot of people are coming to. Or all these different places and you feeding too fast you could end up having a little bit of an accident if you're not careful so and don't always look out for dust because sometimes there's no dust like I'm traveling and there's zero dust behind my car so watch out when you travel these roads you never know what can happen as you can see we're going around the corner here and if you go and if you're coming down that, you might be able to see the car, but the person coming up certainly can't see you. Good job, you're definitely going to have a good time along this road, which is fine. Hope you don't get bogged, if that's as well. Oh, I don't know yet, but let's try not to get bogged. We haven't been bogged yet. You should really have a good approach to the We're going to discuss that in one of the videos about the roads we've travelled here. Um, and the roads. The roads not to travel. Because we do travel the not to travel roads, unless we break a few things. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Hi. Right, can we explain something here? These rocks like this all the way going down there. Like, I know the sand is thick. But this rock is caused by people trying to off road trains. In the middle here, as you can see, this line through here. This line goes from where we've been traveling all the way. People are dragging their diffs because they have, their cars don't have ground clearance. All right, and then they come up here and they hop, skip and jump with their trailers. They don't let the trailer tires down. Okay, and then they go back the road the way it looks now. Um, and of course, when they come flying over here, they might be an oncoming car because they've got a trailer on. This road, Originally, you were not allowed to tow a trailer through here. I don't know why they didn't tow trailers through here now. You're actually not allowed to come through your one vehicle. You have to be two. Um, but your prime example of how off-road trailers mess the road up. It's incredible. Um, and of course, like I said, this guy's drag is just, this is just dragging all the way. And then the hook here, the tires hook in like this. And then you get to bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah. Not good. Anyway, it is what it is. And of course, you can see how deep it is. I mean, check out. It's a good 300, three, it's, a good, it's a good 300 deep. And you know, vehicles you don't have a lot of and shouldn't be allowed on your vehicles, they're just messing up the roads. 
and then they sit and they get stuck and they sit fuss and then there's a whole lot of issues and they get bogged down and everything else. And you look down there, straight down there, you can see what the road looks like. Thanks, cheers guys. Right, okay, so we're on the road between Mabua and also, at the moment the road is pretty alright, but there again we've only been on, we've only done about 10 k's on it. Um, but I've heard it gets a little bit worse later on. So, we'll just have to see and whoa, and wing it, and how far we go. But we reckon we're going to be averaging about 40 kilometers an hour. We have 125 k's. So we've got about a five hour drive, maybe six, um, depending on the road conditions and how sandy the roads are. But at the moment, the roads look pretty alright. They don't look bad, but I'm sure later on it probably will get worse because there are sand dunes that we're going to have to drive over. So that could be a whole lot of fun. The grass is very really long around here, so it's difficult to spot animals. There by the pan, there were loads of animals by the fire pan where we camped last night. And like I said, you'll see, like I said in the previous day, it was minus 4 degrees, it's minus 3 at the moment. No, we had ice spills in the tent, so yeah, it's one of those things. But yeah, we're water puts, we're warm, um, I just Toto's a little cold cold. We had a breakfast this morning. Well, Kieran had a breakfast and Vic had a breakfast. I just had a cup of tea. Kieran had a cup of hot chocolate. Vic had a, a good coffee, what he calls it. For those people overseas, good coffee is a very strong coffee bean. Coffee. But yeah, um, looking forward to this, this, this section of the road. I've never travelled it before. It's an overlanding kind of a road. Hopefully we don't have to use low range, this is the more uh, high floor. And it's going to be all exciting. So let's see what happens. We'll catch you up with it later. So that's a honey badger for you. He's obviously just scratching around in the in the in the dirt. You don't often see them, they're absolutely fantastic to, to, uh, to look at. It's obviously picking up very, very tough animal. Very, very tough animal to come across. He's obviously looking for something, I'm not 100% sure. They don't normally come out during the day, they normally come out at night. Just miss lions down there, but they've gone over the dunes. Right, let's go. So, get me in it as well. Ah, that's so, much. this is our dinner for tonight. Tomorrow night, we're having pizza at a campsite where we're going to stay. We have got chicken nuggets, burrowbos, lacquer salad, everything else. Have a look at that. That's cool. When you go camping, you must eat properly. Enjoy yourself and you must relax and chill out. We'll check you later. Spot that I eat and a jackal coming down to drink.
How's it guys? Uh, we have arrived in Uppington. Now we are about 23 k's outside Uppington. Got the big orange river here behind me. Uh, we're staying at a place called Urania Riss. It means orange rest campsite. They've got chalets, they've got a beautiful restaurant, they've got pizzas, steaks, beers, whatever you want to get. If you want to get drunk, then you must all come here and get drunk on the balcony, watch the sun go down. You can do some fly fishing. Get some yellow fish. Um, I don't bring my rods here until I see the lake is down there is fishing. Um, and you can just walk around the, along here and you can get some really good fish in these eddies. Um, no, we normally bring our fishing rods, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm, I'm jealous he's got a fishing rod. I'm very jealous he's got a fishing rod. Because we normally, because we like fishing in the Orange River. But we're only here for a night. The wind's blowing a little bit. We set up the camp. Tonight we're going to have some lekker pizza, have a couple of dops. And then first thing, early, early crack of dawn, I'm going to be out of here about half past four, quarter to five. I want to be back in Cape Town around about three o'clock. It's a straight, normal tar road, no gravel anymore, we're done with the gravel. Um, the operations in this place, absolutely superb. The entire campsite is fantastic. Just remember, when you're coming outside Uppington, you should come to Aranyaris, place to come to. Have a look at the, 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 the scenery here. Show the scenery. And if you check the river out as well, if you check the view from here, have a look at that view. Absolutely fantastic, lovely, lovely. Um, it's quite, it's quite cheap here. Yeah, we paid a salad of South Africans. I don't think there's any difference between obviously still overseas and us. Um, it's 175 for an adult and for a person under the age of 18 it's 100 bucks. Uh, well worth everything. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, very helpful staff. Got a great kitchen. Now seriously, if you have a huge menu, uh, uh, menu you can take it. Oh, that's incredible. Uh, great restaurant inside. Come, let's go have a look at the restaurant inside. Come on, follow me. Come on, let's go have a look. Okay, so this is the restaurant, a uh, beautiful flat roof, great seatings, like I said they've got some really really nice bungalows over here, bungalows over there as well, overlooking the river, you really got to get to. It's Aranya Riss, Aranya Riss, Uppington, 23 k's outside Uppington, good place to come to, check it out, cheers. Really?